this is Cybertron John, and today we are going to be taking a look at my Transformers Customs. Right here. Da -la -la. And I think they look splendid. We are going to take a look at this one right here for the time being. But if you enjoy this, I will review the other two as well, so... Today, I'm sorry, but if you are hoping for me to review these, they're going bye-bye. So, here is Custom Transformers Hound, and he looks splendid. I like the fact that they've done black and green, it's all blended in, it looks superb. It looks like an actual piece of art. They've done the headlights at the back. Red and yellow, and blue and yellow at the front, and they've done a fantastic job of the windscreen, and this little bit right here that has kind of its original paint job, as well as a bit of a custom paint job that gives it a camo-y texture. I love that camo-y texture on him. Now, the major gripes about this figure that people have had in the past are He's got a hole here. He doesn't have a grill. He doesn't have much of a grill or a bumper. The wheels are nicely painted. He rolls really well. And now we're going to get down to transformation. So we want to take this red circle off his, of what will become his head. If he wants me to get it off his head. Right. So these pieces then split apart and they will be used for shoulders later. Now we fold these down, fold these panels out, and we fold this entire section up like so. And then we flip these back down. And then we fold those back down. Then we untab the arms. There's a hole right there. And there's a peg right in there. I have no idea if you can see that. And then you rotate the waist. So that the seats are now facing the back. And the seats also have excellent artwork, look like actual leather seats. So whoever made this custom, good job. Then, you split the legs, like so. Then, you come around to the back again, you grab the wheel, and there's a hinge here and here that will rotate the arm and then fold the wheels inside out, like so, and now the arms are half facing. Then, we grab, remember these red bits here? We're gonna bring them back, and we, you see this hole here, and this peg here? Well, they are now going to tab into them holes, and become part of his shoulders. So they form like an Ajonish shoulder blade, shoulder pads or something like that. And then you turn the head. And here is Hound in his robot mode. And I love this custom. Oh, I, I almost forgot, you gotta fold that down and fold that up as well. So, yeah, um, as I was saying, he looks pretty awesome. I love this guy's paint scheme, as I have said surely already at the beginning, when he was in his vehicle mode. But other people also have major gripes about the robot mode as well. In in particular, they 
just rage at the feet because this figure has been used on a BotCon reissue of him of this mold called Outback or Fallback and they had he had this see-through plastic windshields and people just had a bit of a angry rage at it because he had to stand on these and people would know that it was going to get really greasy and it wasn't going to be nice and clear or anything so there's the major gripe for people who say the negative about this but me I don't really mind because for me this guy is going to be standing on top of a display shelf looking splendid and proud so, yeah, this is, for Hound, as, um, as a figure from the Unicron Trilogy, my absolute final thought on this is that whoever made this is really creative, because they have taken a Unicron Trilogy figure from Energon, that is a redo of Strongarm, and they've turned it into something, they've turned it into a character that was not even in the Unicron Trilogy and you could now imagine as this custom through this figure. And he, he also has an engine chip that does come off. And the Orbot symbol is inside and um, yeah, there. Looking nice and shiny. He also has an Orbot symbol up here on the upper shoulder. Anyway, I've probably said this enough already, but the detail on this is absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. This has been Cybertron John. Peace out.